Parking brake on, brakes checked. Brakes real quick. Uh, you don't have any brakes. Good to know. No right side brakes. If for some reason you have to take over this airplane and you do need brakes, this is your brake. So it's just, you know, it, it only brake, locks gotcha. if you do that, right? So you can still use this to stop the plane. Okay, cool. Uh, I would be very, very gentle with it, uh, but it will apply equal, theoretically, equal you know, brakes to each yeah. side. So it'll, it'll get you stopped. Yeah. It'll keep you from dying. That's what instructors have to do in these planes. Like the, the Archer was quite luxurious compared to, to this. This is a little bit more rough around the edges, but it's also got better yeah, better avionics, so it's, yeah. it's a weird mix. And then when it's got the autopilot, it'll be the jam. There's, there's your welcome. There's trusty old... Did you uh, do your check ride in that plane? I sure did. Yeah, me too, that's right. Johnson Ground, Cherokee 5116 Lima. Uh, we are at the parking pad, and uh, we have information here. We're gonna be a right downwind departure to the north VFR, uh, and we'll need to run up. Cherokee 5116 Lima, Johnson Ground, runway 20, taxi via Romeo 4 Alpha. You can go please run up on Alpha 4. Two zero via Alpha, run up at Alpha, uh, alpha Four. So uh, five one eight seven one's been sitting out here. Greg looks like he's hanging that here now. Wow. Oh, I've got probably more hours in that plane than any plane. I mean, I've flown that plane all over. That's that plane was to me like what Fuzzy will be to you. Yeah, I believe so. Like your adopted plane that you rent for a stupid cheap rate. A little shimmy now and again. Does uh, holding pulling back on the yoke a lot help help that in this yeah, plane yeah because it sure did today and fuzzy yeah it's always the remedy i didn't realize what a what a massive difference that made yeah you can see how far i have this thing back right now yeah you now the abort plan obviously be standard stuff and then if you see anything you don't like feel free to speak up i can break a set flight controls are free correct and eve proof avionics are already set extra rich fuel pump on throttle up to 2000 Right mag, a drop, back to booth. Left mag, a drop, back to booth. RV works, back idle, idle's good. That's a good, oil pressure's good, temp is good, volts are good, all the things are good. I was about to say, where's your suction? Oh, you don't need it. Don't need it, I love that. That's a huge deal, actually. Yeah. No, oh, airspeed's good. Altimeter is doing as well as it can. This is doing as well as it can. This is also doing as well as it can. These look computery and good. Everything looks good. All of our plans are briefed. We know where we're going. We know how we're gonna get there. Johnson Ground, Cherokee 5016 Lima, run a complete Alpha 4, ready to taxi to 20. Cherokee 16 Lima, runway 20, taxi via Alpha. 20 via Alpha 16 Lima. Pretty quiet here today, don't you think? Yeah, I'm surprised there's not just millions of people yeah. buzzing about. It is a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, people have responsibilities. But not us. Johnson Tower, Cherokee 5016 Lima, ready to depart 20. November 5116 Lima, John Toon Tower, runway 20, clear for takeoff, right turn out to the north approved. Clear for takeoff, 20, right downwind departure to the north approved. Cherokee 5116 Lima, thanks. All right, looks good to me. Full power. We're making good power. Airspeed is alive. Temps, pressures are good. Birds. Thing likes to hop around a little bit. Uh, it's a little bouncy. Yeah. Did you hear that? Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Nasty. It's definitely distracting. All right, let me get on my pitch here. All right, we're above 400 HGL. I'll go ahead and turn the fuel pump off. Checking the fuel pressure, fuel pressure looks good. One of the things I'm always torn about is this part. When you're going north, or like if you're still sort of in the pattern-ish, it's like, okay, do I want to just be a pattern altitude and so I'm actually kind of, like you don't want to be soaring, like right now I could continue climbing. Yeah, I usually do that. Um, and I was told by Jeff Ramsey to just settle down stay here uh, because you could cause a conflict with a, a, somebody doing a direct midfield entry which makes sense yeah 
But yeah, it seems silly to like stop a climb, you know? All right, now we're past the numbers. Do you feel the uh, turbo? <laughs> How funny is it? Like in one day now, you're so spoiled that a 180 seems weak. It, uh, <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. I can't wait for you to feel the get up and go that thing has. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, flying in Chris's 235 was an awakening. Oh, that's right. I forgot he has a 235. It's ridiculous. November 16, Lima, upon exiting the Delta Surf Stereo to the north, frequent change crew, safe flight. Nashville approach, Tro Cherokee 5116, Lima, VFR request. Cherokee 5116, Lima, Nashville approach, I'll send you 3025, Cherokee. 3025, Cherokee, affirmative. Cherokee 5116, Lima, say uh, destination for flight following. Destination will be 1 Alpha 7, and uh, we'll go at 3,500. Uh, he's getting over 5116 Lima, squawk 4327. 4327, 16 Lima. From 16 Lima, say altitude as well. Uh, 3,300 for 3,500, and we're just off of John Tune to the north, about 5 miles. Or 5116 Lima, roger. Sometimes it's like you want to give them the information. 5116 Lima, radar contact, six miles north of John Tune Airport. Position checks, 16 Lima. 4296 November, say destination aircraft flight. Flight's good, fuel pumps off. Throttle set, mixtures. Flames will do a little better. Flight turns required. Fuel set. Are you planning just to stay north of the Charlie? Just not even. 4296 November, yeah, just direct contact, uh, two zero miles north of Nashville Airport. If it gets stupid bumpy, we can move, but you know the deal. Yeah. I don't have to make you comfortable. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like when you're flying with passengers, you know how it is. It's yeah. like, even this, you can you have to go, okay, this might be too much for somebody. Yeah. Some people are really freaked out. Yeah. Everybody I've flown with oh, is pretty... 580s aboard out of 2,000 for 4,000. Pretty durable with it. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're good sports. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have anybody that's... Had a real issue. No, one six Lima, are you on course at this time? Uh, yes, we are direct on course. One six Lima. Roger. No, one six Lima, contact Nashville approach one two four point seven five. Two four seven five one six Lima. Nashville approach Cherokee five one one six Lima three thousand five hundred. One six Lima, Roger. Uh, are you currently you on course at one eight seven? Affirmative, on course one one alpha seven. Okay, Roger. Right you want to stay at thirty five, or did you want to come out to the altitude? Uh, we can stay here. If you'd like us to move up, uh, we can do that. One, six, nine. Roger, now, you're good for now. You picked a good time to get through here. Uh, so unless you want to announce you, are, you look good so far. All right, we'll stay here 3,500. Let us know if you need me to do anything else. One, six, nine. Sure. I missed right, the... 230 on that, enjoying the uh, 20 left slope, 3,000 feet. That's the last half of his last transmission there. Until... I did, too. That's why I just repeated back what I believe to be the crucial points. Yeah. And it gave him an opportunity to tell me that I'd lost my mind. <laughs> it seemed like he was kind of just repeating some things. But you caught the part where he said, oh, you picked a good time. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I, I got that. Yeah, I mean, there's no ADSB traffic. Well, there is some, but it's not crazy. Reasonably distant. But it is funny, because it's like, that's why I do this whole thing, where I just fly straight out, tell them where I'm going, so that when I'm on course all of a sudden, they're not like, well, wait a minute. Oh, you actually want to go to the place that you said? <laughs> you know what I mean? The only thing about the G5 so far that I, I find myself a little challenged with, it's just about a read, it's just a readability thing to me, but it's uh, the vertical speed. You see how all of a sudden it looks like well, we're getting pushed around, but it's hard for me to see the vertical speed on it. Oh, it's just that tiny little magenta stripe to the side. Yeah. But yeah, getting this uh, magenta in the little triangle, right, in conditions like this, it's like, it becomes like a video game that you just start terrible at. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I try. It's amazing how precise you can get with this thing just because it's just a more precise interface. But it also can become kind of maddening and distracting. And it's like, okay, I, you and know you what? Get, you get your head in the cockpit too much. Right. So then I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to look around. This looks fine. But I swear to God, if I ever fly you know, into IMC, it's going to be because I'm just putzing with this stuff. It's not going to be because yeah. I wasn't looking at, I don't know. It's just, it's going to be like, oh my God, I went right into that cloud. Because I was trying to get a little dot to be another dot over. 
Is that, is that a formation or something? Like, what is going on? No training at uh, Music City Executive. Yeah, I just noticed that. I was <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> they are just Boom banging down. out the pattern up there. <laughs> That's Jeez. right. Well, I want none of that action. So we'll, we'll divert a little south of that. And some pressures are still good. We're going to go to the left tank. Fuel pump is on. Go to the left tank. Pressure still Do you good. have a uh, reminder or like something that dings every... Uh, Nice. Because I would never remember to switch fuel tanks. Uh, well, you think that, but then uh, the reality is the plane starts pulling so hard. You're like, oh, why am I yeah. constantly fighting the uh, yeah. roll? Yeah, that, that'll that'll learn you. The trim and the and the fuel management are definitely Cessna things that I I like best. Kind of using the steam, the steam plant. You see, like you have the VFR. Four one six. Lima contact the next approach. Four one eight point four. Four one eight point four one six Lima. Approach Cherokee five one one six Lima three thousand five hundred. Cherokee five one one six Lima Nashville Nashville altimeter three zero two five. Maintain VFR. Three zero two five, and we will maintain enthusiastic VFR one six Lima. <laughs> Delta nine fifty two. Clear direct to Rory. <laughs> direct Rory. <laughs> I love those moments. <laughs> BFR. Never really flown over this side of town. This is interesting. Got your Gallatin fossil plant. Oh, yeah. Giant pollution generator. Oh, I thought you were talking about like a bespoke uh, restaurant. BFR. Have you seen this? Uh, thing with Charlie Roger Ritter, the reactor terminated. To keep your code. Tower. Yeah, I've noticed that. I was like, what? Tower. I've driven out there before just to have a look. And we've flown over a couple of times. Pretty neat. So it was actually never finished. They, uh, they stopped it. What are you uh, using to gauge your uh, your mixture? Uh, yeah, I don't have I don't have any uh, EGT or anything. No. Natural departure. So so I just lean basically into for uh, stumbles like that. Similar six eight four up thing with a first vertical. Yeah, back in and then go to where that's power. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the uh, and that's that's kind of foolproof. Yeah. He he showed me that today. I can't remember. There's some like engine av or uh, engine mechanic guru guy and he was. I guess, I think that, yeah, I don't know yeah, if that yeah. was or not, he, he wrote the definitive engine book that everybody refers to, and it's like the method. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, that's a, that's a good method, just... I mean, that, to me, that's just what it is, what it is, it's like, I'm... It's foolproof, it works, it works wherever you are. Right. ET number 5116, Lima, contact Memphis Center, 132.9er. 132.9er, 116 Lima, thanks. Memphis Center, Cherokee 5116, Lima, 3500. November 5116 Lima, Memphis International, altimeter 3026. 3026, 16 Lima, thanks. You want me to turn on COM 2 here for you? Yeah. To get the, the weather? Yeah, all right. Ain't gonna be no weather. Did they got weather? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's actually one of the coolest things, I think, about the G5 is that I'm, I've been able to watch this wind the whole time to see if its direction is changing. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, so pretty confident that we definitely should land on uh, runway 36. Yeah, because uh, we got a left crosswind. You can kind of keep cross-checking that, you know, as you kind of get down and see if it changes. Uh, it's just a way to get a, an actual read on the wind, you know? Amazing, what a concept. So there is terrain and it is a little tricky. You know, there's definitely like ultralight dudes and goofy stuff going on out there. So we're going to be really yeah. on our game. They definitely don't have radios. But yeah, we're about 18 miles out. So I'll get off a of flight following in a, in a couple minutes. And then uh, then we'll just start to kind of look around and see what's up. November 806 Hotel Alpha Contact Campbell Approach 118.1. I'll go ahead and set you up for 1229. Yeah. ETAF. I do miss the transponder where you just go BFR. Oh, yeah. I like the immediacy of that, the tactile, just knowing that we're not fishing for weird numbers and what weird order do they have on this stupid keypad. You know, just yeah. stuff like that. So. Rickyard 5641, climb maintain, fly level 250. 
The, the approach is a blind approach. Oh, bird. Uh, bird traffic, two o'clock. Same altitude. Wow. That is very high for a bird. 13 passes, 10-5, up to uh, 15,000. So, uh, so I've never seen a bird this high. Oh, yeah? Clap up 230, pick up 4713. Yeah, he's probably just in his Bluetooth listening to music. <laughs> so it's a blind approach. You're going to come around a, uh, a mountain, and then, like, the, you can't see the runway when you're on downwind. You just see a terrain. And then you come around oh, base. That's, that's pretty wild. And you don't see the runway until you face the final. 320310, better assigned speed. Unless things are just going surprisingly well and things are very clear. I'm actually planning on doing a lower approach first. Uh, yeah. Because I kind of want to make sure the winds are what the, we think they are next to the terrain and then also uh, make sure that uh, the runway is actually clear and all that. Yeah, I. Uh, Cessna Last time I went to the Southern Air, at 5, I wasn't sure what the wind was doing, and I was like, I'm just going to plan to do a low approach three, unless four, it's perfect. Echo, and it turned out it was perfect. Three, the wind zero, was right down the two, runway, five. and I was like, all right, well, zero, yeah. two, five, third down. I just think that's such a great way to just sort of mentally approach zero, five, two, one, landing zero, at places. One. Cross, four, Why? Zero, you know, put yourself eight, out. Uh, why, why hyper commit to early to a landing in a familiar place? Uh, and then maintain Or a even a less familiar place. Delta 2815, contact NASA, approach 119.35. We're going to go ahead and get off. Thank you, 35. Delta 2815, have a good day. Epicenter, uh, Cherokee 516 Lima, has a field in sight. I got a call in answer, say again, I was offline. Cherokee 5116 Lima has uh, the field in sight like a cancel flight following. Number 5116 Lima. Radar service is terminated. Squad can maintain the VFR. Change the advisor frequency approved. No observed traffic between you and the field. Over to VFR. Thanks for your help. 16 Lima. Okay. Number 52101. We've planned it. We're doing the mixtures. We're doing the throttles. Yeah, throw a landing Put light on. I'm not afraid. You cross that at, four, at 6,000, 40 miles out. Affirmative, cross four zero miles so, yeah, out of National Airport. Where is the... Oh, I don't know. Are we even, two, one, zero, are we even close to... Down now oh, no, we're still like... Six, uh, thousand nine miles, miles out. One, one. I'm just trying to get on a frequency. Yeah. Uh, start listening and advertise ourselves. Pattern altitude there, 1,500 feet. So pretty in here. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5116 Lima is eight miles to the west. Uh, we're gonna be a 45 entry to the left downwind for 36 Jackson County. So I'm kind of doing two things at once. This is generally how I do it, but it can be confusing if you're not doing it, but I have a direct entry there, so I always know exactly where the airport is. Uh, but I, I have a procedure mapped here. Yeah. So that I can just kind of follow the lines until I can really make sure I have it in sight. But this is going to be one of those where there's not really going to be an in sight. All right, it's going to be somewhere down in here. It's on the other side of that ridge, from what I recall. Because we're just going to follow the, see the river? Yeah. We're basically just going to join the river and fly over the river around the mountain. I'll start my more earnest descent here shortly. But I'm going to keep it real low descent. I want, I want more altitude for longer if I can help it. I'm not trying to just drop this in so hard, but uh, we'll see what happens. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5116 Lima is four miles to the west. Uh, entering the 45 left downwind for runway 36 Jackson County. This is, cool. this is so cool. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get fuel pump on, mixture rich, landing lights are on. We're gonna kinda just get into pre-landing mode, gas on the full tank, on a carriage as well, the mixture is rich. Props and pumps are set. Seat belts, switches, everything's good. We're just gonna check this out. See? Oh, I see. It's right over there, it's on the other side of this ridge. I was looking, yeah, okay. This is a bigger gooseneck than I thought. I thought that little loop right there was a gooseneck. That's Ooh. a little. Damn, that was close. Oh my God, that's the closest I've ever come to a bird. 
Oof. There's a big hawk. Yeah, so we gotta go all the way around. Yep. That ridge there, wow. Yep. Down in this terrain. I mean, it's fun, but a little, a little hairy for sure. So typically, I would be kind of starting a descent a little bit from the pattern, but I'm gonna try to keep us a little higher than that. Man, we can go out, we can extend, you know? We can get a kind of a view on it, but it really is something where you like, kind of have to, to circle around in here to do it. So, just keep your eyes peeled. It's always just interesting when you're flying towards terrain. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5016 Lima, left base 36, Jackson County. Yeah, I'm definitely glad to be doing this in the right seat before trying to do it on my own. This is interesting, to say the least. Now, which side of the river is it on? That's the question. There it is. Wow. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5116 Lima is final, final 36. Oh, oh, how cool is this though? All right, wow. Cool. Very now, nice. Now we're both familiar with how that looks from that side. Yeah, good to, good to just kind of get a feel for this because this is definitely something, yeah. something else. How are we looking over there? Hawk. Huh? There was a hawk, but it, we're good. Terrain. Factor. Terrain wise. Terrain is great. Okay. Yeah, much more uh, concerning on the left. Yeah. But we're good. Oh, the birds. Yeah, this is a really cool one to get in and out of. Yeah. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5016, name of left crosswind, 36, Jackson County. Yeah, I would kind of want to get a little higher than pattern altitude right here just because of these mountains. And then once we get over, I mean, if it were we had, oh yeah. That just seems <laughs> yep. a little close. Yep. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5016 Lima, left downwind 36, Jackson County. We saw somebody had their little uh, parasail, whatever those are called. Oh, paramotor? Paramotor. Oh boy. It was just sitting there, it didn't look like anybody was on it. That's what I like. And if for some reason I go into this one and I'm not just nailing my speed and feeling really good about it, we'll probably just head back. <laughs> but I'm not gonna keep, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, but, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna force anything, I guess is my point. Don't feel like I'm gonna be forcing anything. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5116 Lima, left base, 36 Jackson County. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5016 Lima, final 36, Jackson County. There it is. Nice. 
for that windsock. Dead. Perfect. There's the doorknob. Perfect day to come in. All the, whatever wind we had up there is probably just getting blocked by all these ridges. Yeah. Jackson County traffic, Cherokee 5016 Lima is clear of 36. Jackson County. Feel that strut hanging? Feel that now, Bill. Feel that strut hanging over there? Feel that? Never try to get, get this one. Say what? Oh, the strut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is a great place to come and, like, yeah, like you were saying, just sort of like have a picnic and do a hard right hand turn to strut down. <laughs> Hard right turn. Didn't work. I've met the, uh, whoever the airplane or airport manager is here, I've met him before. Super nice guy. Gave us his card, you know. We, we hung out here for a while last year. All right. So we'll just turn everything off. It's like the checklist.